All right then, hello guys. Today we're gonna be doing another Lord of Sequelae challenge, and the challenge that I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be called Dark Knight. So, with this challenge, it's a bit different than the ones that we usually do. Reason being is because this time substring, the actual literal sub str string, is being filtered out. The ASCII value is being filtered out. The equal sign is being filtered out, and also uh, quotations being filtered out. There's like a, a lot more filters for this challenge. I guess for the most part. And you see again, it's another add slashes. So that means there's gonna be blind SQL. So let's get started. So one of the things we had to do, and I guess for this challenge is we have two parameters, pwn and no. And it looks like we just had to figure out guess the guess pwn's challenge for admin. So I guess that's the whole point of the challenge. So right now we have this extra parameter now and you're thinking in your head, what can we do with this? So with this part, we could just technically ignore this part because it's gonna be an empty, uh, empty, empty, empty. Uh, I guess an empty uh, parameter because you see right here, pawn is gonna be equal to nothing. That's fine for the most part because you remember this just has to be false for the most part. So what we want to do is just do no equals and then a certain value. It could be whatever value for the most part. So I'll just put zero for now. And then we have a value equal to no. Now what we want to do is set an or statement like we usually do. So how do we do that? What I'll do is just these two symbols because if you check oh wait or is not even blocked out so i'm guessing we try or oh okay so that worked so now what we want to do next is uh or now we have or right so now we want to do id equals but we see that equals is being filtered out because you see right here um Right here equals is being filtered out so we have to use something like like so if we go right here and just delete this or zero or id like and then admin you see admins being uh wait somewhere right here oh, wait admins not even being filtered out wait am i doing the right challenge let me go dark knight yeah it should be dark knight so if I just type admin, that should work now. Like admin. Oh, well, that won't work because it's not an actual value. Uh, what we could do is just use the literal, like, um, the literal hex value for admin. So, like, the literal, literal hex value for admin. Because, like, usually when you want to do, when you're trying to add a string, you usually want to put the literal representation. But, like, in our case, we don't have, we can't put quotes either because if we check right here, like if I had a quote at the end right here, we see there's some kind of filter. Yeah, no quotes, no quotes allowed. So what I'll do is um, I'll do uh, a string to hex, like how we did in the previous challenge, text to hex converter, and I'll just do admin. So convert that. We have the admin value, so we could just do something like zero, I think, or id like and then control v and then i just add ox right here for hexadecimal and then we get hello admin now we know how to bypass this for the most part so i guess what we want to do now is figure out the length in which we're going to do in which i already have a script already right here clear ls cat dark knight dot pi or a bad cat bad cat dark knight dot pi <sighs> I'll just rewind this again. So we see right here what I did. Well, I just put one right here, but then after that, we could just like brute force our length of pwn. And then just this is going to go through the numbers between 0 and 10. Like it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm just trying to figure out the length of the password. And once we, once we get the length, we're going to go on this uh, second for loop right here, which is just trying out like we were doing before, but this time a substring is being filtered out like the literal substring so if we go back right here no uh is it right here yeah okay so right here so if i simply just type in before we were able to bypass this because what it was filtering out before it was just sub str uh, uh i'm not sure what this is called semicolon no it's not called semicolon parentheses yeah substring but before it was pr uh, filtering out something like this sub str uh something like that but now it's actually filtering out like if you have the actual subs tr so subs so if you had just substring substring it will get caught because uh 
it's literally in there so one an alternative to sub alternative to sub str in sql is um mid mid and substring what's the difference between mid and substring uh update so I ran over, uh, so currently my SQL mid is just a synonym of substring. It accepts the sy same syntax, and it also accepts all syntax variations of substring. So it's basically the same thing. So we, what we're going to do is uh, use mid, or that's what I have right here. ID is like admin, and the and values. I don't think we need to put this, but I just kept it from the same code from before. Mid, so you could think mid as substring, and then we're going to use the like statement. But in this case, we're comparing numbers. So the or D command, what is gonna what it's gonna do is gonna get the let's say uh let's say uh, uh Python three. Let's say at uh, a position one, the very first number, it's gonna be A. It's A, right? But what or is gonna do is gonna turn that A. Is gonna turn that a value that it returns to a, into an integer. That's what or does. It returns it to an integer, and what we're initially doing, that cat dark knight. What's initially doing is because since it's going from forty eight, if you guys don't know what the value of forty eight is, it's basically um, that's a, that's where it starts at. This Python Python J, and J right here, is the actual literal number. So it's gonna do from like 48 but then this is getting the position at one so at position at one one is gonna get it so at position at one one let's just say it's zero and then it transforms this uh string or this uh character this character from mid because mid returns a string or a character i'm not sure which one but it's like it returns one of these it's gonna transform it to an actual uh, integer value so if we do something like Python three, and I'll, I'll explain. It. So it'll be let's say the we start at zero, right? Zero. Oh yeah. No, no, we start forty eight. Yeah, forty eight. We have forty eight, right? That's where it starts at. Just J value, which is like forty eight. Now, or let's say it returns uh uh, uh pronoun one one, and let's say a pronoun one one is zero. So if we just do uh or of the of the actual string zero, it should be forty eight because that's what it represents. So it's what it's gonna do is gonna get that it's gonna turn all the characters into an integer and it's gonna check the actual integer value of forty eight is like forty eight. And if it matches, it's gonna add it to our uh, password. That's basically what we're doing. So it's a bit different from before. The reason being is because quotations is being um, is being messed with, so we can't put the literal values. So yeah. Anyway, that's enough of me talking, for the most part. Let's just show the code. What what I probably needs to do is uh, update the cookies. So if I go right here and then I go right here, oh, inspect. You probably needs to do this every time, and I'll link down below the the code. For this challenge, I guess. Let me just eliminate this. And just put that there. And then do Python 3 Dark Knight dot pi. We're gonna just see this get run. Well, I guess I'll show off this first example for the most part. You just copy this and then just put paste it right here. Okay, so let's see. Let's see right here. So this is gonna be false. It's not gonna run this part, but it's gonna run this ID like and then oh this is representation of admin but in hex values. And then it's gonna do and or and mid pw pw1 is like 48. So since it's like 48, that means the the value, the integer value of 48. So we go ASCII table. So the position, oh. 
So the this technically means the position at 1, 1, the very first value of the password, is similar to 48. And 48 in the ASCII table, which is represented in decimal, is going to be the character value of 0. That's basically what it is. And that's what we're doing right now. Now this time I got B, but let's see B's representation. If you check it's lowercase b. So if we go check right here, lowercase b is gonna be 98. So oh oh yeah, so we can just check it right here. 98. So that's like the second value, you know, if I remember correctly. Uh yeah, it's the second value. So if we just simply go right here a URL bar and just change this to I think 98 I said 98 and then 1 1 so it changes to 2 and we see hello admin so that passed it so that means the position at at the position the second position and password is 98 and decimal and then 98 and decimal is the lowercase b and now it's just running through right here it's just gonna take a while we're just waiting and then finally we get all of this so if we just copy this and I guess it wants us to enter the password so we can get passed right here because if you put the password here, it's not gonna matter for the most part it's checking for guests but we want to check for admin so all we need to do is just simply do uh, just delete all of this right here and then was it PW equals to whatever we got? And then we just type that. We get Dark Knight clear. So that means we pass this challenge. So anyway, yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Mostly learning, like, I guess, a few new bypass techniques and modifying our previous script that we have. I'll link down below the scripts so you guys could use it later on. Or if you guys want to modify or just understand a little bit more. Anyway, that was about it for me. And yeah, peace.